right, this is Demonocalypse, and today we are looking at a turn-based strategy game with instant battlefields called March of War. Um, March of War is what just what I said it was. Um, also, the volume sliders don't seem to work properly in this game. Um, Full screen window, resolution, visual quality high, ultra. I didn't even know ultra exists. Let's try that. Uh, mini map enabled, apply, and then it'll reset to the center of my screen because, you know, that's always a great thing for a game to do. Um, yeah, so what are we looking at here? Turn based strategy, instance battlefield. Actually, the entire thing kind of feels like, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what is it? War, like a Warhammer game or something? It's kind of kind of tabletop with good, very good set pieces and stuff like that. So, what are the factions we have here? So, we have America, the United Republic, the Price of Freedom, do your part. Uh, Latin Junta, Viva la, Re Viva la Revolution. Uh, the African warlords, show the world your strength. Uh, the European alliance, civilization will endure. The Soviet Union, together we cannot be stopped. And the Shogun Empire, loyalty and honor. So, all of them have their own unique units, and all of them have, have some neat things. Um, Soviet Union has mechs. Yes, mechs. In addition to tanks and heavy units, it has mechs. Then you have the Shogun Empire, which is, well, I should just go through here, I guess. So the United Republic, the price of freedom, do your part. The Republic employs plentiful artillery and command powers. Their support units provide healing repair options, and infantry spotters call in long-range airstrikes. They have a number of units suitable for both recon and assault operations. Strong points, plentiful artillery, strike command powers, healing units, and powers, right, air units, weak points, average tanks, and few Heavy units. Well, as you can see, it is clearly based on the United States. There is even an M4 medium tank there, a M2 Jeep, and some sort of artillery piece, and some sort of jet, I think. Then you have the Latin Junta. The Junta utilize speed and reconnaissance to take the enemy by surprise. The units deal high damage, though they can be fragile. They have a lot of short-range indirect fire weapons and use chemical warfare to control group, ground, or deal damage over time. Strong points, fast, cheap scouts, hard-hitting units, short-range artillery, chemical warfare. Weak points, expensive vehicles, and fragile elite infantry. The European Al Alliance. Big tanks, zeppelins. The Alliance favor heavy units which can bring to bear long-range firepower. They have specialist support units for repair, action resets, calling in artillery strikes, and more. They use expensive elite infantry and slow but heavily armored vehicles. Tough units, heavy tanks, varied support infantry, long-range weapons, expensive units, and limited artillery. Okay. African Warlords. Weird. They're, they're on animals. The warlords train mighty war beasts with ferocious melee attacks to lead to lead their attacks. Okay. The larger beasts enjoy natural regeneration while making them hard to kill. Their infantry are tough and aggressive and well supported by fast raiding vehicles. Good quality infantry, cheap fast vehicles, a mighty war beasts, ferocious me melee attacks few long-range weapons, and limited support units. And the Soviet Union? The Soviet the Union commits waves of men and tanks motivated by propaganda powers and units. With heavy walkers spearheading attacks, they have cost-effective heavy armor and cheap light infantry backed by, up by snipers and other support weapons. Wide range of units, support weapons, potential prop, potent propaganda... Heavy walkers, average unit infantry, and light little heavy infantry. Then the Shogun Empire, which has light units and a blimp. 
not a blimp, it's a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon of all things. Really. The Empire makes use of heavy, powerful infantry with deadly melee attacks supported by fast, light tanks. They have a wide range of flame weapons to control the battlefield and rocket artillery ranging from light to devastating, providing fire support. Strong points, infantry, melee attacks, fast, cheap, light tanks, rocket artillery, flame weaponry, few heavy vehicles, and limited anti-tank options. So I already have a um, account, or character, if you will, with the Soviet Union and the Shogun Empire. I wanted to try... I kind of wanted to try the Latina, Latin Junta, simply because their, their units look interesting. If nothing else, um, like these two are probably the most interesting out of the two ones I try. I mean, fairly boring, fairly well. Zeppelin's interesting. That Lemon Ross looking thing looks interesting, but uh, let's go with the Latin Junta. Act. Uh, I want to try these war beasts. They look interesting. Yeah, let's try that. Um, I have no idea what to call this character. I'll just call it Dean Melaclips 3, I guess. And you can have male or female. The female characters are always oversexed, you know that. And then you can change your face if you want. Old black guy, that works. I'm old white people for my other two characters. Might as well choose an old black person for this one. Okay, now... This game has premium currency, which I think is universal. Uh, your gold currency, which is for per character. And research points, which is per character. So, first thing you really have to do... I, th I can't remember if there's actually a demo... Uh, a um, What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Um, I can't even remember what the word is. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Anyways, so army. Everything's kind of a uh, card system in this game. Basically, you buy cards, and then you can use them to um, in the battlefield. And depending on how many cards you have, that's how many times you can use that character in battle. So, like, the Rebels, these are infinite number of them. I got eight Raiders, two Rhino Raiders, zero Zulu Warriors, and zero Beastmasters. Yeah. So, these guys look like they got the shotguns, Molotov top cocktails, more shotguns, and she's got a whip. Yeah. War Beast, a uh, giant gorilla, uh, gorilla of some sort. War Elephant, which is a elephant with a gun on the back, presumably. And Overlord, which is some sort of horrendous mutant. Water Buffalo thing. With a big thing on the back and lots of guns. We have light vehicles, so you got bike bombers. Technical salvage APC, which... Yeah, that's, that's certainly salvaged. Uh, more, mortar technical. And a demo truck. Big boom. Heavy vehicles are a salvaged Mark IV heavy tank and a drill tank. What the hell's a drill tank? Combat transport that can be that can damage anything at close range and deploy basic infantry. Hmm. Neat. Flowers and flyers and that's a dirigible. Neat. So it looks like. We're being invaded by Europe, and we're losing. Badly. I don't think anyone's playing this faction. Intensification of the conflict is expected following a fiery speech by the faction leader calling on their soldiers to give no quarter in battle. While criticized by humanitarian organizations, the speech appears to have been highly effective and analysts suggest that front lines may change substantially in the upcoming days. 
<sighs> yep. We really hate them. I mean, we're almost completely overrun by them. Asia seems to be in minor conflict with Russia at the moment. And Russia's even invaded us a little bit. Um, yeah. But the biggest thing with this game is that these are the combat points you can pick if your faction so des decides they can, if they have are in possession of a harbor and they can attack any other harbor on the planet. So if we had possession of this harbor, we could go and attack the harbor here in the... That's near Amsterdam, I think. But it looks like we'll be going here, so that's Somalia. And you can either do PvP or PvE. Always start off with a few PvE battles. And the game's actually fairly easy, so go to easy or, or medium difficulty, because beginner is just really freaking easy. Okay, first thing you gotta do is deploy some units. This is all explained in the tutorial. Uh, so there's a command, and then you capture these points to gain more experience in order to win. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we bring out a technical too? Okay, saving deployed state. And it looks so much like an orc truck. Hilarious. I mean, it could be inspired by that. I don't think they really. I heard you the first time. A tribe is strong. I heard you the first time. Who needs to die? Looks clear. Yeah. There's one big thing that I don't like about the combat in the game. It's just that there's so few phrases that the um, units actually say that it gets rather annoying rather quickly. Technical here should be able to last quite a while simply because it's an armored vehicle and as far as I know armored vehicles have a different armored almost die? all vehicle things Try take a different type he of damage so there's um anti-personnel damage anti-armor damage and Uh, then there's also hunting damage of all things, and that that one never really made sense to me, for whatever reason, you know. But the biggest thing I can say is that the easiest way to win this is to just flood the gate with every unit you can get on the field. That way, there's no chance for them to get more people on the field. But I had more points than that. Ah. Machine gun, take it down. And sound effects in the game really aren't that bad. I mean, some of these buttons are rather huge, but I think this was originally an iOS game for some reason. At least that's the feeling I'm getting. I have no idea if that's actually true or not. Oh, you think that's going to work on me, eh? They got machine gunners. Who are these guys? Are these, or is this their basic infantry? Volunteers with Ready MP forties. Ready to fight. Put it down. Who needs to die? And you'll see that every single person that fires actually does a separate amount of damage. So the more people you have in a squad, the more likely you are to kill everyone else in the other squad. Or all the units in the other squad. It's a better way to put that, I guess. We can test I the you the first time. You shut up! Okay, now you got Who these guys. Who Who needs to die? Oh, can wonderful. Okay, why don't you... Take... Come on. Oh, it's contested, that's why. Oh, another thing that I hate is that... Like, my mouse is over here, but it's trying to put the unit in the closest available spawn point, and... 
Like, that's a little annoying. Like, it should be, oh, you cannot place a unit there. Instead, it just auto-defaults to that. I'm sure it's because, for to make it more idiot-proof, I guess, but for the most part, I just find it annoying. Um... Yes, you said something? Yes, you said something? Ah, huh. you can move? Yes, you I said something? You. It runs. Yes, you said something? Oh, my chest, but him! Okay, and it seems like, I didn't know this before, but it seems Spacebar will give you the next unit that is currently supposed to move. And then there's three of them around there. Ah, fun. Very much so. A tribe is strong. No mercy! Who needs to die? No mercy! Who needs Expect those MP40s to, to do more dan- well... Do more damage in this sort of gameplay um, focus simply because they put out more bullets, but that doesn't always seem to be the case. Could also be more expensive. Ready to fight. Keep moving. A tribe is strong. I heard you the first time. You get over there. Put another one there and another one there. I could drop up another technical in the center here, I guess. Huh. Oh, and this will happen. If you don't have any heavy... If you don't have something available and you click on it, it'll bring you to the store so you can buy more of them. Now, as far as I know, these cards can only be used a certain number of times per battle, but they'll automatically be available for use in the next battle without you actually doing anything extra. Because that would be slightly annoying. We can no taste we can taste no because if you lost a unit and you lost its sub card because of that, and with we how much, how expensive the cards are in the um, store, It'd be impossible for this to be a f true free-to-play game without so much grinding, playing against the AI, which is, quite frankly, just Who needs dumb. Let's get this technic... Oh, frick. Can't get out of here without using up my movement points. Who needs to die? Who needs to die? Let's get you over here. Okay, that should do it. On to the next thing. What the heck did this guy say? We can finally fear. Ready to fight. Put it down. Ready to fight. Keep moving. Let's make it. <laughs> Almost dead. The first time. And there we go. I just won. But it won't register that I've won until this has been captured by me, so we gotta wait another two turns. Or the computer will surrender. And that's pretty much the game. Not much to it. Fairly fun. Not the best game on the planet, certainly. The biggest problem I have with it is that units never miss. Okay, so battle points, which, as far as I know, may be a scoring system. Gold you can actually use for something. Research you actually use for something. Experience, I don't know if you use that for something. And then you also get these bonuses... Pick one, there's an unnecessary explosion, and then you get something. So I got saturation bombing out of that, so now I can bomb an area if I so choose. Um, change my character. Let's pop over to my access character.
No, I don't want to buy anything. Okay, and it's the same world map, it looks like, and we're still fighting the um, Japanese. I'm not the best person on the planet, but generally you can you can win a fight simply by um, flooding the battlefield with units, as far as I can tell. Um, the only hard part after that is figuring out exactly what to how to make sure you have enough points to support all those units. Okay, let's see. So I got one there, one there, and one there. So we can just do the standard deployment of the conscripts here here and here and I can also I, I want this command points two vehicle and one command I don't really have a lot of co vehicle cards oh, that's gonna take a little while to get over there and they should be spawning on the opposite side logically so they'd be heading for these three here, and uh, they can make it. They can make it to those points easier than I can. I think that's a straight shot. This thing's a little slow. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed this. I am going to go up here with my t with my anti-air tank. Overall, the game doesn't look too bad. It can run. It would probably be able to run on most systems. Uh, the trees are actually fairly good, but since you can't really get in super close to a lot of things, it does not really matter at all. We are going. Okay, so I captured that. I can deploy two more conscripts here and here. The tank will be moving up to support this guy here. Now, as far as I know, there's the outer ring that you see is the maximum range, and then there's also a minimum range for this tank here, as far as I know anyways. I haven't actually had anyone get close enough to this tank to actually be able to um, um, hurt it. But, um, yeah, the, like I said, the, uh, one, like, I was on graphics, now back to gameplay. The multiple damage types are a little bit confusing because, like, the... The conscripts have anti-personnel round, anti-personnel damage, and then the tank has rending damage, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It seems to be another one of these technicals over here. Well, not a technical. It's an I don't know. It's a truck. It's a truck with a gun. What else can I say about it? Changing our position. Reporting in. Relocating. Soviet power. Reporting in. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, let's see. We'll capture that. We'll be able to put more conscripts on the field then. Um, I'm going to go after this one here. Well, they're going after that one, so let's go over this, after this one here. Standing by. My heavy vehicle in the way. Where they shoot at it, I can shoot back. Stuff. Uh, Wait for a point build up a little bit. I want to get some uh, Red Army soldiers and maybe an RPG team on the field because it sounds like they should be moving some vehicles around, which also seems to be a small bug for the game. You can hear the vehicles, wa the vehicles and units walking around, which sh you shouldn't be able to do. Either that, or it's just playing random sound bites. I wonder who I'm actually fighting against because I didn't look at that. We are going. Aha. No effect. <laughs> Any personnel rounds on that? No effect. RPG team. RPG team. Anti-armor cannon shot. Ah, balls. I shouldn't have put that down. I forgot that this the light thing here actually has like a 50 millimeter cannon or something on it. Uh, let's just get you. Move you. Here. Reporting in. Reporting Relocating. Now let's leave those RPG teams there. I can back off with my uh, conscripts here. Simply because I think they should be coming around this area. Um, OK. 
Okay, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. And then I could get those RPG teams to take out that light tank there. The chi -ha or whatever the hell it is. Are you firing? No, he's he's just sitting there. Wonderful. For the union. Orders for the union. Gonna die? Moving out. Oh, wonderful line of sight. Um. Okay, so you. It has to be direct line of sight for this one. Okay. Standing by. Let's get. You. I'll get there. Yeah, Dasvidanya. Whatever you say. Reporting changing our position. Okay, let's get Reporting you. Up there. These guys are unfortunately the anti armor guns are useless against um personnel, so I'm gonna have to put these over here. Is that an anti armor shot or huh? That stinks. Okay. I can move these guys up. And then... Maybe... Let's grab another one of these. Put it over here. And end of the turn. Oh. <laughs> A nuke truck. Artillery barrage. Oh, this ought to work. Die. Nice! Two kills. Like I said, I'm fairly certain I can call in just how many of those I have cards for. And it actually works fairly good, my opinion, anyways. Okay, so I'll capture that. Um, I won't lose anything this turn. Go around this way with the heavy truck and the conscripts. More con conscripts going this way to hold this area here. I can capture that, capture that, and move these guys up here to capture that. I'll also be moving my anti-tank trucks up front as well to help take that. Will you go finally? Please? Going slightly insane here. <laughs> I'll show you how effective that was. Now save. I want you. There's battle. Relocate. Fire. No. That's how effective it was. Not at all. Changing our position. Okay. Let's get you guys over Moving here. Out. You over Reporting here. here. Standing by. Um, no problem, comrade. Reporting to me, it's slightly annoying the stringent um movement. Reporting in. system in here, but it's 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 a box based system, which is pretty much just a hex based system, which I am fairly used to. Okay, let's just get you. Could have gotten them closer, I guess. Let's get you. We are going. Orders. Let's take you around there, and that should be ev. Everyone. Ah, oh, crap. You didn't. Uh, oh, wait. I don't think that was a good idea. I really don't think that was a good idea. That really wasn't a good idea. Wow, they're actually alive. Moving out. Fire. Yeah. Awaiting orders. Big fitting around here. Das Vidania. Awaiting orders. Orders? We are going. Da. Moving out. Mother Russia called. To arms, comrades! Awaiting orders. Reporting in for the union. And let's, our anti-armor shot 
does so little damage to people, even though, logically, you think about it, it's a high-explosive shell. If it hits something, it's going to bloody hurt. I'm here. Big sitting around here. Da. Big sitting da. around here. I'm here. You arm, comrade. Yeah. Standing by. Get there. Fire. Da. Okay. This guy's up. Relocating. Da. Relocating. Da. Silence crew. Silence crew. Silence crew. And that's everything. That's just going to build up a couple more points. And if I need to, I'll spend them on some expensive units. Yeah. Are you... Oh, computer use sur shadow insurgency. They called it ninjas. Back here, I'm guessing. Ninjas against four groups of conscripts. Let's see how that goes. Reporting in. Eight rocket. Two arms, comrades. Reporting in. It should Big really be like high here. explosive damage. Does be done. Uh. I'm here. Big sitting around here. For the union. Uh. Order. Okay, why don't we move Where's you up off? here? Changing our position. Good. That one's dead. Okay. You arm, comrade! You! Uh. Where's battle? Changing our position. You should not be calling any more units from there. Reporting in. Reporting in. Awaiting orders. Could you over there? There's also special abilities for certain units. You saw me use, or try to use one from the RPG team earlier, but recon scan, and then just a short-range recon scan. It's it's a little too short-range to actually be useful, in my opinion, but that's just me. We are going. Reporting in. Moving out. Reporting in. I'll get there. Reporting in. Oh, see, that's an enemy base. I just want you to we are going. go there. That's everyone. <sighs> oh, yeah, I forgot. They killed people rather easily. <laughs> Shoot them. This may take a while. Fire! Reporting in for the union. But now they're going to do less damage, so that's fine by me. Oh, that's because it's it's disputed. Kind of a silly mechanic, but yeah, I guess I get it. I guess. Reporting in. Da. Standing by. Da. We are going. Da. I'm here. Big sitting around here. Reporting in. Changing our position. Da, I'm here. Moving out. Order. Moving out. Standing by. No problem, comrade. Soviet power. We are going. Little silly. Moving out. Reporting in. This makes it so easier. Going. Figured out that space bar does that. It's just... And it's so much easier. Reporting in. Am I really heading towards position. anything? I think the only enemy left is really that, um, those ninjas. We are going. Da. I'm here. Yes, Awaiting orders. Reporting in. No problem, Where's and even then, they should be dead after the next turn. I don't need to am I? Well... I could use them, but I don't have the cards for it. The first time I was playing through the game, playing through a short mission, it seemed like I always thought that you lose a unit, you lose the card, you lose, you have to buy another one, and that's just like that would be incredibly dickish, especially since everything is so expensive with the in-game currency. Mother Russia, kill them. Awaiting orders. It's just like, that's illogical. Nah, that can't be right. 
Report we are me. going. Orders. I gotta leave you in there. Relocating. Changing our position. Orders. Changing our position. Da. Da. For Mother Russia. To arms, comrades. Oh, where's battle? Relocating. Also, if memory serves. I'll get there. For the Union. Yes, you can also fire at things from high Changing our position. points. I'm here. But it really Changing depends upon battle. For the Union. Orders. We are going. Good. That one's dead. Awaiting orders. Good. That one's dead. Reporting in. Moving out. Mother Russia called me. Da. Orders. Moving out. Reporting in. Changing our position. Reporting in. We are going. Reporting in. Relocate. Awaiting orders. Changing da. our position. We are in. going. Da. Da. I'm here. Da. I'm here. Da. That's everything. I mean, all I have to do is just step into that, and he's done. Those RPG units? Yeah, I guess they are. Neat. Soviet. Bussaw. Bussaw. There really should be a reload Orders period on some of these our weapons. Position. Orders relocating. Changing our position. Orders. There we go. Uh, Mother needs us. Understood. And I won. So the games are fairly fast. I can't say that the fastest kind of turn-based matches there are. I'm sure against a human opponent, it takes even longer for them to figure out what the heck's going on, what they're doing. So it may be kind of inadvisable to play humans right away. But that's uh, really up to you, I guess. Uh, March of War on Steam for free. But it is a pay to... Well... It's a pay to advance quickly game. There's no reason you can't advance slowly, but it will be a bit of a grind. I'm sure you get more experience for actually playing against humans rather than the bots. So that's not something you should normally have to worry about. Nice. Let's see what we get. A leaflet drop. What the bloody hell does that do? It doesn't always really seem like... Okay, a minefield drop. You drop a minefield. Artillery barrage. Uh, artillery barrage. Mass production. Pay for command to get three engineering. Okay. Drop, drop propaganda leaflets that motivate your units to advance further and fight to the best of their abilities. So my guessing is that it gives you more damage, more health, and more movement points on your units. And paradrop, put some people behind enemy lines, and a nuke drop. That looks a bit... More like something that shouldn't be made by, well, yes and no. <laughs> a sickle. Oh, they have a proper helicopter. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. It's a KV-2 with the Mark II turret, or whatever it's called. Slow average, heavy, average health, heavy armor. With which fire area of effect explosive shells that devastate enemy infantry and light vehicles. So it's got uh, fire a heat shell which remains for several turns, causing damage and I don't think they know what a heat shell is. But yeah, let's got the hammer walker which has a machine gun and the cannon walker which is. It has a big bloody cannon. The 
cannot fire indirectly. And then <laughs> you have the light cannon truck and the, the people's truck. Oh, man, that's silly. Lightly armored support vehicle who can boost nearby allies and intimidate enemies. <laughs> and then uh, infantry. The conscripts, Red Army soldiers, RPG team, Maxim machine gun team, Commissar, naval infantry. Fast, short range, raiding infantry, effective against other infantry. Anti tank sniper and sniper. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of options in this game, and like, like you click on gems, it tries to make you buy shit, and all of them have a sort certain reacher tree, which you can buy outright. This is clearly an iOS it was clearly an iOS game. Well, seems like it would have been a good iOS game, anyways. It's hard to find a good um, turn-based strategy game on iOS. So, like, someone port Fallout, the original Fallout games. Onto Android and iOS. They'll make a fortune. But anyways. Alright. So this has been Demonocalypse. I hope you enjoyed this look at March of War. Um, If you want to play it, play it. If you don't, you don't. Well, that's your choice. It's perfectly understandable. Um, I'll probably be still playing it once in a while. I don't think I'll make another video of it. Simply because my opinion of the gameplay is boring to watch but it's nice to think about but i may make another video if this is well received um it's like an alpha beta right now but as far as i can tell there's no reason why i can't record it so it should be fine have a pleasant evening